What's happening in your market at the moment? What's going on? It's still affordable. It's, we get a lot of first home buyers that come to our area, investors. We also get upsizes and downsizes as well. So it's quite a really good cross selection. Across the board, we're hearing there are a lot more appraisals happening, a lot more listings coming to market. Is that something that's, that you're seeing in Caram Downs? Yeah, it's because of lockdowns. It's been almost like a delayed spring. So instead of you'll have, you mean your, your spring starting kind of a lot of people gearing up around that August, it's been delayed in a sense. So it was kind of starting more like six weeks later. Do you have any tips for other agents who are starting to establish a team or looking to grow their team when it comes to who they should be looking for and what positions they should fill first? I think where a lot of people go wrong is they want to employ someone that to do what they don't want to do. Um, you might not like doing it, but you might actually be good at doing it. So someone might employ someone to do door knocking, for instance, but you might actually be good at door knocking. So you should do the door knocking and get someone to maybe do the admin, like if you're not good at admin. So you've got to get someone that um, complements your weaknesses. Like no one's good at everything. You can't do everything yourself. Do you have any tips on how you hire or who you look for? When you do have a bigger team, it's really important for dynamic and understanding the dynamic of your team. If you've already got lots of big personalities, probably not wise to put you mean know, like a third or a fourth big personality in. So maybe someone else that you mean is a little bit you mean more subdued. Let's talk about this 2020 area that you received. After you received the award, how did you promote it? Did you use it as a promotional tool for your business? Did some Facebook boosting, also did like Herald Sun um, ads with it. You mean letterbox drops, even though they're kind of a thing of the past in a sense, but look, we do get a fair bit of traction off them in our area um, and just really selling it in listing presentations. One of the standout features of your awards win was the volume of five-star reviews that it you have. Uh, in 2020, you had 59 five-star reviews, but what do you attribute that great feedback to? What are you doing behind the scenes to facilitate that? It's, it's customer service. Like, it's, I'm, I'm a team. Like I said, I cannot do what I do without my team. It's from start to finish, there's someone that will look after everything.